this is my iPhone XS Max. And when I picked up my iPhone XS Max, I also picked up this red leather case with it. And initially I thought, you know, what's the point? Why make a video on this? But since I had all my gear out, everything was set up, I just decided let's make a video unboxing this, put it on the phone, see what it looks like. And surprisingly, of the three videos I made with a $500 Apple Watch, a $1,500 iPhone XS Max, and a $50 leather case. Can you guys guess which one got the most views? Yeah, the case. 15,000 views on just a case, and I didn't even do anything. I just kind of took it out of the box, put it on the phone, and showed it to you guys. But it's obvious that people were really interested in this, and not only were they interested, uh, they a lot, I'm still getting comments to date uh, asking how it's worn out, how does it look now, uh, was it a good buy? And I also got a lot of people telling me I chose the wrong color and I should have gone for something else. And uh, I'm going to address all that in this quick little video updating you guys what with what the case is like. And starting off, it's been two months since I've picked this case up. And um, initially it was a very bright red. I'm going to put up a clip here of when I unboxed this and took it out of the box, how it looked versus how it looks now. You guys can see even in different light, it is a much darker red now. And not just red, it started to become black uh, on the edges. And I'm pretty sure as time goes on, even the center part is going to pick up some of that uh, dark black kind of look. Now, um, it was, you know, I expected it to turn cherry red. Uh, it did in kind of a way, you know, you, can, you guys can see some parts of it are really like a dark, red um mostly like i'd say around this part or maybe around here this is kind of the color i wanted the case to be but um really it hasn't been mostly it started to become this really dark color here and it's just going black now at this point i'm disappointed to be honest with you guys i did make the wrong choice so to all those people who commented you made the wrong color choice with the case you got for, you should have gone for something else um i admit it yes i should have gone for something else but it doesn't matter now. You live and you learn. If I didn't get this, I would have always wondered, hey, that must have that would have looked really cool. Now, since I've had it, I know what it's actually like. So uh, let's talk about it right here, this edge. You guys probably can't see. I'll include a picture here of when it first fell down. Uh, I noticed in that picture how red the case was compared to now. So now it's really, really black in the corners. And not to mention, this gash has just gotten really bad. It just looks really, really... Um, bad just not really good looking it's not something i want to keep on a 1500 hundred dollar phone uh it looks kind of cheap now uh the rest of the case has had a similar kind of uh, you know if it's fallen it's had this gash and it just doesn't really ever go away uh, it doesn't even minimize it kind of keeps getting worse from there on out uh so you know when it comes to drop protection it does protect the phone uh the drop i had was a three foot drop onto uh, a paved road and uh, the phone had absolutely zero damage, no scratching, no dents, no scuffs, nothing. Uh, the case took 100% of that hit. But I've had other cases as well that do the same thing. And the case doesn't look like it's been to war afterwards. So, I mean, you know, it is a leather case, so I have to tailor my expectations for it. But just it was kind of disappointing to see um, how bad it looks afterwards because then... It just starts to look cheap from that point out. And there's nothing you can ever do about it instead of buying a, you know, the only solution there is just buying another. Um, and, you know, the top black edges, like the top right around here, this entire frame, uh, it's gone black. Let me see if I can demonstrate that for you. So this part compared to the rest of the phone, of course, the camera doesn't do a good job picking it up. Uh, it has turned black. Like, yeah, there you go. You guys can see. See this entire frame, like the top of the lip, it's gone black. So it is no longer red, it is all black. And I mean, it's okay, not the world's worst thing, but still, I mean, it's a far cry from the red, the dark red that I expected this case to be. So if you are looking at getting a red leather case, I say don't get the leather, go for the um, silicone one, because at least that will stay consistent. This is just going to become black over time, which I really... Uh, don't like now let's get the case out of the phone i mean the phone out of the case not the case out of the phone you can't really do that can you and uh, the inside is held up really well it looks just as it did the day i picked it up so that's a good thing um, even with the drop you guys can see i dropped it right over here on the outside the gash is right there um, but on the inside it looks absolutely fine 100 percent okay 
uh, no issues throughout the case. So um, the outside does take a beating, but the inside is very strong and it will protect your phone. I, I don't have a doubt about that. Um, the one thing I do not like though is that the bottom here is exposed. So if say you were to uh, have this phone in your pocket when you put it in pull it out if there's anything abrasive like keys or st stuff like that you will definitely scuff up or scratch your phone on the bottom stainless steel is prone to that so that is not a good uh, thing so luckily uh my phone did not pick up any of those in the two months i've had it but if i keep it on there for long enough i am 100 percent sure that uh, i will start getting scuffs around here so i did you know it does kind of make me reevaluate the case in terms of protection because it does do a decent job when it comes to drops but then when it comes to scuffing and scratching on the bottom uh not the best thing uh another really positive thing is that uh these buttons so this red like it's it, they are actually metal buttons they are not uh you know shiny plastic or anything let me see if i can get the focus on there those buttons they are color matched to each case and they are metal and they are absolutely fantastic they feel just like the real thing uh, you can't tell that you're, you know, using the buttons through a case, uh, which often happens with most of these cases since the case is just, uh, either they just cut out for the button or when the button, uh, is like, there's just a plastic little layer over it, which you kind of press hard on and then the case works. I mean, overall, I like this metallic button design a lot and it just, uh, it feels good. So it does feel premium. There's no... Uh, instance in which this case felt like it wasn't premium or it was low in quality. The only thing is that um, when it comes to long-term wear and tear, it really, really does depend on which color you pick up. So uh, I got the red. If I would have gotten the saddle brown, that uh, that ages super, super well. Uh, it goes from light brown to dark brown, which is what most people want. Uh, I've seen the blue one, the light blue one, that kind of goes black too, but still it looks good because blue and black I think looks a little bit better than this. Uh, and even the green one, the new forest green one is really good as well. So uh, a little bit of buyer's remorse with this color, but you know what? It's okay because this way I could finally put this idea to rest. And uh, one thing I will definitely warn you guys is if you're going for the leather case, be prepared for color changes. Dep it doesn't matter which color you get. Uh, the, it's going to change after a little while of use. If you do not want the color of your case to change, uh, pick up a silicone case, pick up something else. Do not pick up a leather case because that's the way leather is. It's gonna age, it's gonna patina, and it will change colors and you can't control uh, what kind of patina you're gonna get. You get what you get. It's just, uh, there's no control over that. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. The, the final look or the evolving look of the phone is out of your hands. The case is just gonna look the way it does. So overall, you know, I am, I'd say that I'm happy with the case. I, I'm not, I didn't, you know, I bought it. I'm okay with it. But if I was to buy this again, that would be a no for me. Uh, I'd, I'd be okay with buying another leather case, but just not in this color. So that wraps it up, guys. Thank you so much. I just want to give you guys a quick update on what this case was like, because a lot of people were still really, really, uh, you know, they, they were uh, curious about it. So I thought, you know, why not just make an update, show you guys what it looked like. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any more questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.